many. You had your breakfast. No, you had your breakfast. You can have any. Mm. It's real good though. It's real good. It's better than your dog food for sure. But you can't have any. Good morning. Rooster and I are enjoying breakfast here in the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge in Southwest Arizona. If you are not up to speed on how and why we're here, there's one, two more, two videos before this one. Go check, go check those out and then come back. Uh, as you can see, I am eating oatmeal soup. I, I got a little, got a little heavy handed with the water. Still tastes good. But the plan today is to continue east. I have loved just the sh brief amount of time I spent in Kofa getting here yesterday. Oh, this place is unreal gorgeous. And as much as I would like to just stay in the National Wildlife Refuge, um, my, my plan is to head east and explore east. But I think, uh, I think in the, in probably in, in two days from now, I'm going to come back. I think I'm, I think I'm going to come back. I'm in the northern section of Kofa. I think I'm going to come back and explore the southern section of Kofa because it's just so gorgeous. So that's the plan. So if you would, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you get notified of the upcoming videos from this solo desert exploration trip um, that Rooster and I are on. And we are having a blast. We've, we're this, Today will be day three of our solo desert exploration. And I can't wait to see what we find today. I just, I think it's going to be incredible because every day so far has been incredible. Yes, ma'am. All right, we're off. I am so glad that I took this little dead end canyon trail. Found that campsite last night. It was so peaceful. I, I cannot stress how crazy peaceful camping in the desert like this is. Uh, it's unlike any place I've ever been. And I've camped in some very remote places. But there's just something about just the sounds lack thereof of the desert man it is so cool well, we are going to go explore more of the northern section of the Kofa wilderness and then head out um, head out further east kind of kind of towards phoenix i well, will not go to phoenix but just in that direction to see what we can see uh, i did have a friend messaged me that outside of here to the east on some trails then you can get into some pretty gnarly stuff so so I have no idea what we're gonna get into so far um, I am 0 for 3 on my excuse me 0 for 4 on my wildlife watch through Kofa uh, bighorn sheep 
rattlesnakes, Mojave or Western Diamondback, I don't care. Uh, tarantulas and Gila monsters. Doubt I'm gonna see any of those driving around in the daytime. I didn't see any last night at camp either. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's what I'm looking for. So far I'm over for. I get asked a lot about how I get some of these shots, especially in an environment like this where I can't fly a drone. Because well, this shot would have been super easy with a drone. But I uh, legit park, hike all the way up here, right there by those cactus is where I had the camera. I drive way off in the distance, back all the way up, park. And climb back up and get it. So it's a lot better than just dash cams and out the window cams and helps you see the environment better and worth the effort, I think. So let me know in the comments. Is it uh, is it worth the effort for me to get those kind of shots? I am very curious. <laughs> um, but this is also how I get my exercise, which I need more of. Hang on, I gotta put my camera down before I fall. And what a view from up there. For me, that's, I mean, for me, that makes it worth it. This, uh, you, you see stuff from different vantage points that you don't see from down here in the driver's seat. And I love that. But it's nice to have the sun out today. It's been cloudy the last two days. The temps are a little cooler than it has been. I think the high today is like 68. It's been in the mid and upper 70s. But today the sun's out. The last two days have been cloudy. So it should be a really nice day. Beautiful day for exploring, that's for sure. So far I have a whopping, today's the eighth day that I will have spent in the Southwest Desert, the Sonoran Desert. Uh, five on my last trip a month ago, and then this is my third day out here. I guess technically my ninth. And this is the highest concentration of cactus and variety, I guess cacti. Uh, and variety that I have seen in one spot. Like we, we are in a cactus forest. And it is so cool. I really think Arizona is highly underrated uh, for an off-roading and overlanding destination. There's so much variety here. You've got the mountains with currently snow up north around Flagstaff. You've got the desert down here in the south. Like, I would love to go explore Flagstaff, and we will uh, when we come back for Expo, Expo West. We're, we're gonna come early and explore that area. So I'm pumped about that trip already. But man, this this Sonoran Desert in the wintertime is the place to be. If this is not on your bucket list, put it on your bucket list. Because it is way cool. I can't imagine what it's like out here in the summertime. Like, no way. Don't, don't want to know that. But gosh, it is just so vast. There's so much public land out here. And, I mean, Southern California as well. It just, it just goes. 
probably southwest New Mexico as well. So uh, I, the desert in the wintertime, that, that's, that's I think where you're gonna find me in the future when I'm on my trips, and especially when we're traveling full time in a year and a half, um, this southwest desert in the wintertime, that's gonna be where it's at. to what's known as a Kofa cabin. Right by the CCC. Back in the 1930s. Open to the public to visit and camp overnight on a first come first serve basis. Interesting. Guess that means you can go in. Oh, wow. It's a little musty smelling in here. But if you needed a place to seek shelter, this would do. Huh. Kind of cool. Not what I expected. Let's see, there's some provisions here. Refried beans, some ramen, oatmeal, a bunch of candles, magazines for you know when you get bored. Ballistic, that's a good one. New Yorker, not so much good. Current 2024 calendar. Oh, huh. toilet paper. That's pretty cool. You never know what you're going to find out here. Uh, there's multiple fire rings around the outside perimeter. So I guess you could camp here and not stay inside the cabin. That's a big one. Taking a quick detour. It's almost noon. I've been on the trail for about three hours now. And there's a town eight miles away that's got a gas station. So we are going to go up there, top off the gas. I'm at a half a tank. And looking over the rest of the route, I don't see really any other gas options. I do have four extra gallons with me. But if I get too far out and run out of fuel, the Gladiator 4 gallons isn't going to get me very far. Um, about 48 miles if I'm lucky, depending on the terrain. So, uh, when you're out and about like this exploring, if you see an opportunity to get gas, it's always wise to take it. Don't take any chances. Um, because so far, uh, I, I've seen one... Um, one fish and wildlife employee 
don't know if he's an officer, but one fish and wildlife employee. Uh, Back there. And that's the only person I've seen this whole, so far. And I suspect that's the only person I'm gonna see. Because it is Monday. No, wait, today's Tuesday. What is today? Today's Tuesday. Uh, it is a Tuesday, so most people are at work. We're not out exploring on the weekends. I suspect I'm gonna have the trails all to myself for the rest of the day. All right, we are back on the trail. We've got a full tank of gas. Got uh, working on a full belly. A little gas station pizza. Pretty darn good. But I'm super pumped about what's ahead. I, I know there's supposed to be a reservoir down this way, which seems odd in the desert. Um, there's another cabin, some other points of interest. That um, nice campsite. Um, anxious to see what the trail's like as well. We're still in this flat, wide open area, but we're going to get back into the uh, into the mountains here in just a little bit. And then I'm going to head east and find a campsite outside of Kalfa. Uh, I know there's a spot with a little arch. Uh, may stop there. It just depends on time. It's it's 1240. I've still got lots of time to explore left. Lots of campsites on this road. Not bad. Driving through this lower area, flanked on each side by mountain and ridge lines. You know, I, I, I'm in the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. This is a refuge for wildlife. Where's the wildlife? Like, there should be herds of sheep up on the ridge line just waving like hey good to see ya mule deer out in the distance just clapping their ears going hey what's up because this is their refuge they're safe here like there's over 600,000 acres here in, Co in the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge they should like all be here I've been in this place for what, 24 hours I saw a quail and a couple lizards. That's it. I'm like, where are they? see it from the trail but you cannot one thing that I am learning this being my first you know long multi-day solo trip out with a pup now Rooster's six months old so very much puppy There are things that I would normally do, like go hike over the hill to see if I can see the reservoir, uh, that I'm not going to do with Rooster here, and I'm not just going to leave her in the Jeep. I don't want Rooster stepping on a cactus or getting her paws cut on these sharp rocks. So, got to play it a little safer than normal. Uh, when you got a little companion with you, look at her. Just look at her. Uh, 
I mean, how adorable is that? That's just the cutest thing you've ever seen. Well, I believe this is called Red Rocks Pass. Elevation 2,459 feet. Cool. Nice views. This is the Hoodoo Cabin. Lawn cabin for the Carter Western Cattle Company, built around 1940 from a kit. Interesting. Overnight stops for cattle employees. Check miles of fencing. Cabin was restored in 2007. Public is welcome to stay overnight in the cabin to experience the desolation of life in the 1940s. I don't think I want to experience the desolation of life. Let's go check it out. Hello? Wow. Wow, check that old stove. Please don't use the stove. Someone tells me the stove is not usable. Oh. Empty. No running water. Beds. Cat food, more candles, books. Oklahoma, Tennessee, Wyoming, what are these? Huh, interesting. Bathroom, non-working shower. Interesting. Come on, Rooster. Cool old stove. Yeah. I wouldn't even have a clue how to work that thing. I wonder what this is for. Huh. No, I can't figure that one out. Wow, this is this is a bizarre. A little cabin built from a kit for cattle linemen to just check, go around checking on fences. Alrighty then. I think I'll stick with my rooftop tent or my hammock before staying in there. I don't know. Might be kind of cool. Well, after that uh, hoodoo cabin, it is time for us to turn east. And we are not far from leaving the Kofa wilderness and entering BLM land to go explore some new areas. After doing some more research, I think I'm definitely coming back here later in the week uh, to explore the southern section. There's more history down there. There's more mines. Um, there's a ghost town down there. Actually, it's a museum. Um, but I, I want to come check that out. So uh, I'm, I'm leaving Kofa now, but I'm going to come back. Come back later. I'll, I'll circle back. Well, this is bizarre. It's listed on the map as an old homestead site, but I expected buildings 
not a garden of Savoia cactus. Be a cool place to camp and firing. Huh. I feel like I need to drive through the cactus tunnel. The Hawbatter Homestead site. Okay, I need to know what this is. I mean, this is like a little oasis out here. There's grass. I mean, it's just a nice little spot. I need to know more. I would definitely enjoy camping here. It'd be way cool. But that's just weird. We are officially out of the wildlife refuge in the BLM land. I've been waiting to get those views since yesterday. God, there's just, this just so beautiful. And then to seeing it from the air is, is just so incredible. Of course, there's pretty darn good views from the ground here too. got like maybe five miles until we get to camp it's almost four o'clock so I think the timing of that will be perfect and I'm excited because apparently this camp is right next right next to right near um, a natural arch so I don't know if you can see it from camp but from what I understand it's a very very short hike from the camp to the arch and we go through a lava flow as well to get there so i mean the next five miles there's a lot of cool stuff
occupational hazard in the desert, I guess. Ugh. Man, looks like we're in there. Imagine that if that was your flesh. Man, those are awful. This is the little spines of the teddy bear cactus. Delicious. Wow. What a view. I feel like as soon as we left the wildlife refuge, I mean, everything opened up. And now we're actually going up and in and around and over the mountains and you got these epic views as you come over one. Well, you didn't have this in the refuge. It's so different. The terrain is different. The, the trails are different. It's crazy. It is gorgeous. I don't know how well it's coming through on camera, but there's a little arch out there in the distance. It's called Natural Arch. There is Royal Arch, and right over there is where camp's going to be. Pretty cool. Is a jackrabbit. At least some sort of long eared hare. The first real wildlife I've seen. There it goes. Pretty cute. I think this is going to make for a really cool campsite. Got the arch view in the background. Beautiful little spot. day and it's 4 30 plenty of time just to chill here at camp it's just gets it's just so good oh my gosh it's so good this is what it's all about and i can't wait to see what the sunset is because we haven't really had any sunsets the last couple nights so i may have to launch the drone up sun's actually going to set on the other side of the arch so I may see if I can get a cool shot with the sunset and the arch from the drone. But gosh, this is amazing. I mean, tucked in here, I'm guessing this is lava stuff, lava flow rocks. All the saguaros. It's just so good. And Rooster and I have just been relaxing. Almost took a nap. Rooster took a big nap. 
Um, I just fed her dinner, and we're just gonna walk up this hill. This is kind of kind of rough on her paws, so I'm not gonna go very far. You can hike up to the arch, but I know she's not uh, she's not up for that. I don't want to carry her up that hill. But I do want to come see what's over here. Wow, it's beautiful. Sunset still kissing the mountain over there. Just slightly touching the tops of those. What an incredible place. And it is so unbelievably peaceful here. Like just the sound of the wind, occasional bird. That's it, it is so quiet. Occasional airplane, that's it. I think I'm gonna be going to bed early tonight just because it's so peaceful. night keeping it quite simple I've got what I think is the last of my bison ribeyes this is this is the last one Let me get some more it's still a little bit frozen so like not really frozen but it should come out very nice medium rare with a nice sear on the outside that's the goal. And to go with the bison ribeye, just some brown rice cooked in the juices from the steak. That'll do. Well, got everything cleaned up. Got a little work done. And I think Rooster and I are going to call it a night. We have a surprise cooked up for tomorrow. So be sure and subscribe because you'll have to come back next week find out what it is um, I'm really excited but uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this day hope you enjoyed this amazing scenery out here in the desert and hope you've been a little inspired to to, to get out I don't think a lot of people come down here um, and I don't know why it's I think maybe it's intimidating but hopefully over the last three um, three videos you've seen no this is an amazing place. So, anyway, highly recommend, especially in the wintertime, come down to the desert. But we're going to go to bed now. Thanks for watching. If you would, you know, like, subscribe, give us that YouTube love. Go check out that Patreon link in the description. Uh, if you want to follow the tracks that we've been doing the last several days and what we're going to do in the days to come, gain access to all the campsites and cool things that we found. Uh, also, special events, special content, lots of things that we do for our patrons. Um, Check out that link. And for all of our merchandise, go to shopoverlandapel.com. We're going to go to bed now. Good night.